My family, today, Radar Online published a piece. A so-called exclusive full of lies. Saying this, Harry and Meghan trial separation, nasty fights, humiliation, and failure lead Prince to pursue peace inside the drama. My family, Omid Kobe, has responded to these lies from Radar Online. And my family, here is what he said on Twitter. And I quote, I'm not sure everyone realizes what kind of outlet Radar is. If you believe the site's and I quote, marriage on the rocks nonsense, then you also believe the, there are other royal scoops, my family. For example, exclusive, Prince William and Kate fighting after he failed to defend her against Harry's memoir attacks. They have terrible rows, my family. Number one, Number two, one other exclusive. Bow down. Kate and Camilla had a blazing blowout after Elizabeth's death. Power as Queen Consort went straight to her head. My family, one other exclusive from Raider. Another one, Prince Andrew's ex, Faji begs for Kate to help sway King Charles' eviction order. One other exclusive. She expects to be had. Queen Camilla's feud with Kay Milton reaching a boiling point as royal wives butt heads before King Charles' coronation. Sources claim. My family. One other so-called exclusive from Raider, my family, that Kay Milton were involved in a terrible fight with Prince William because William failed to defend her against Harry's memoir attacks. And my family, first of all, even in Harry's memoir, what Harry said was the truth about Kay Milton, that Kay Milton was the one who made Megan cry. Harry spoke the truth and nothing but the truth. And my family, somehow the truth is somehow attacks towards Kay Milton, Prince William, Charles, Camilla. My family, the truth is not an attack. Only those who are guilty, only abusers view the truth as attacks and uh, my family also here is what you know Omid Kobe then said did any mainstream outlets speak up on those stories and present the need to comment basically no my family so once again this is just a tabloid spreading lies about Harry Meghan to get some clicks, my family. And also even page six also picked up on those lies and they also had their own so-called exclusive. <laughs> Rumor swirl, there's trouble in paradise for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. To which Harry's brother, Nacho Figueras, who Harry has played polo with in the Los Padres team, just last year, he said this in response to those so-called rumors, BS. BS. It's all just a bunch of BS. Lies fabricated and created by the media, by tablets, just to get some clicks. What they are spreading are lies, but it's what they want to happen to Harry and Meghan. They want Harry and Meghan's marriage to be on the rocks. That's what they want. 
They want to destroy Harry and Meghan's marriage. They want to destroy Harry and Meghan's relationship. But my family, they'll never ever succeed. And page six actually deleted the article after Nacho Figueras posted that tweet. Someone who's actually a brother to Harry. Someone who's actually, we can say, is close to Harry Meghan has called these rumors just a matter, a matter of BS. But sadly, these rumors are every single day. These lies are created every single day because they want to force Harry Meghan to come out and perform for tabloids. My family, Harry and Meghan will not, shall not do that. My family, Harry and Meghan will not and shall not do that. I even recall what Nacho Figuera said even in the past about Harry Meghan. He said this, and I quote, I will defend them and what they do and who they are for as long as I live. They are a treasure in today's society and we should be taking care of them and feeling inspired by them. I know I do. Harry Meghan, we have your back. Please be patient and do not change a thing. Nacho Figueras said that about Prince Harry and Meghan. And my family, he is someone who is very clearly a good person with a good heart who loves Prince Harry and Meghan. And I respect that about him so much, my family. And my family, even his two letters, my family, BS are more than what the royal family have ever done to defend Harry and Meghan from these constant attacks from tabloids. My family. You know, and page six actually had to delete its tweet, had to delete its article, my family, because they all know clearly they were just lying. Lying about... Prince Harry and Meghan's marriage. My family, even someone said this, that just posting two letters, pushing back against ongoing cyberbullying of his friends, that's a hundred times more than Prince Harry's own blood family have ever done to protect him and Meghan. That's the so-called royal family that people are supposed to look up to. It's why... Nacho is Harry's real brother. And no wonder, you know, both Harry and Nacho have so much affection for each other, my family. You know, a true and real bond between Harry and Nacho Figueres. And my family, don't forget that in just a couple of months, we'll be seeing Prince Harry and Nacho reunited in Singapore to play Polo, my family. And my family, I cannot wait. I cannot wait one bit. So my family, Omis Kobe has reacted. You know, also, Nato Figueras has also reacted also. You know, my family, there are so many lies being created about Harry and Meghan. You've heard those lies about Prince Harry, you know, living in a hotel to get away from Megan and Archie. Those are the words used. To get away from Megan, Archie, and Lilibet. To get away from Megan, Archie, and Lilibet. Those were the words used. And my family, and yet, Ari's actions always shows us a different story. Time and time again. When he's in court, he says, Judge, I'm going to be FaceTiming Megan Archie Lilibet. Before he was even cross-examined in court, in his court case versus the mirror, my family, Harry, told his lawyers to tell the court, hey look, I'm enjoying my daughter's birthday. Listen, we are scheduled, I'll be there on Tuesday, not on Monday, because the tablets wanted him there 
on Monday, and yet he was scheduled to be cross-examined on Tuesday. But they were like, we are going to try and hurry this up. So Harry, so Harry can miss his daughter's birthday. So Harry misses his daughter's birthday. And Harry told them, hey, look, I'm coming on Tuesday, exactly as we had planned. I'm not playing those games. And we saw the tantrums from the carnival also called experts because Harry chose to stay and enjoy his daughter's birthday before traveling to the UK. You saw those tantrums from different media outlets, you know, who are so angry that Harry did not come to court on day one, on Monday, my family. And yet, they knew he was scheduled to come on Tuesday. That was the plan. My family. And I feel like they always get more angry whenever they do see that Harry always chooses his wife and kids. When they are doing everything in their power to split Harry from Megan, Archie and Lilibet because they want Harry back alone. Miserable and happy. Destroyed to a begin Prince William. My family, they will not succeed. The evil plots shall not succeed. So my family, sadly, they continue to lie about Harry Meghan. But also, the good thing is, their lies keep on getting debunked. They have lied that Meghan goes out party and leaves Harry at home with the kids. So my family, in one story, you are hearing that Harry is in a hotel. The next day, Harry's at home. <laughs> you know, my family, I just kind of, you know, enjoy seeing them create so many narratives that clearly expose them, the tabloid media, as liars. Because whenever they create so many narratives about Harry Meghan, so many stories about Harry Meghan, today they say this, tomorrow something else, it just shows, first of all, they know nothing. And my family, I like to expose liars and tablets like daily mail the sun tablet and also this radar online are full of so much lies my family unless it comes from harry megan my family don't believe anything else you hear unless it comes from prince harry and megan or their spokesperson harry megan don't speak through sources and also, this Raider Online, on his story, my family, he basically mentioned that a palace insider has told them this. <laughs> I think that's the funniest even, you know, part really, that just exposes their lies. Since when do palace insiders have access to, you know, Prince Harry Meghan? Since when do they have knowledge of what's going on between Harry and Meghan and their relationship? My family, we do know the end goal of what the media wants. They want Harry to separate from Meghan, to come back to the UK, to follow William and Kim Hilton around, to be miserable and happy, you know. My family, that will not be Harry's fate. Harry will not have the same fate as previous pairs, Margaret and Andrew. He won't have that same fate. Harry will thrive, my family. Harry will thrive and continue to thrive. And Harry and Meghan already are a success in the US. And they ain't coming back to the UK to put up with the abuse and racism of the UK tabloid press. And also, Harry and Meghan won't be performing for the British tabloids. They will never ever do that. And it's high time the tabloids understand that. My family... I believe that I've said enough, Kylie. Thank you, Ms. Kobe, and thank you, Nacho Figueres, for coming out and once again just, you know, calling out these tablets for their lies, for exposing tabloid lies, my family, because time and time again, tablets lie so, so much about Harry Meghan. And my family, Harry Meghan, may God protect them, 
and keep them safe each and every single day of their lives. No weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, Rupert, and Anne, Tory, Leglan shall ever, ever prosper. And what God has put together, let no man, woman, let nobody ever separate. Prince Harry, Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex who love each other and have two amazing kids, Archie and Lilibet. My family, Archie and Lilibet, will not grow up in a divided home, like what the tabloid media wants. They grow up with both parents, Harry and Meghan, living under the same roof, loving each other, happy, my family. Make no mistake about that. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever, my family. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.